Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, I believe I mentioned uh, the name of one artist a few times on my channel already because I do love her art and her collages. It's Margaret Miller and uh, she is totally amazing. I'm watching her art on Instagram and uh, also on YouTube because she does have a YouTube channel. I will put links down below. few weeks I uh, visit her Etsy and I bought or purchased, purchased. <laughs> I was shopping on her Etsy and I got this amazing, uh, the name of this, it's Collage Weekly Planner Volume 2. So I bought her digitals and I print it out and it's such a gorgeous thing. You know, those designs she gave you just for start. <sighs> Look at that. It's so beautiful. In that digital design, in that volume 2, I didn't check out volume 1 yet, but when I will finish this, I will probably go to have a look. In that volume 2, you've got uh, one half with the weekly, kind of like weekly spread, uh, top goals for the week, tracking habits, and here is assignment. You will always uh, have some kind of glue, so what you should use on probably this page, or maybe you can use this page uh, as an extra paper but I'm guessing this should be your uh, platform <laughs> your base and on that you will build up your your uh, collage she does have amazing videos on YouTube how to start a collage and I do love watch that I do love watch how she's creating her collages and she does have there so many videos with advices what to do uh, how to choose papers, how to choose colors, you know, the, all those advices. And today I would like to show you what I'm going to create. I did my digital for this uh, first week. There is something magical, time, uh, transparent paper, like tracing paper, vellum or tissue paper, furniture with legs, something triangular and bonus is a place. So here I do have time, she's magical and for her I will probably have those wings and furniture with, <laughs> with legs. This is so beautiful, I think it's called range. is that so, like old oven, <laughs> it's so gorgeous and the rest it was just, just to fill the paper, you know. So I'm gonna create something on this space. So I have cut out my images, I do have here these. And this is left over from my lady, Alphonse Mucha lady. And here I do have those side of cuts, those uh, adverts. I'm not sure if I will use them, I will see. And I'm missing something triangle. So what I noticed, those corners, they are actually Art Deco triangles. Fold it this way. Have a look through the light. They do look that they are on the same position. And okay, if it should be triangle, I should cut this way, make it triangle. And I do have two of them. And I do have the wings, which I haven't cut out yet because there is uh, that there's supposed to be something translu translucent, translucent. Um, this is the word I can't pronounce, so something transparent. And I'm going to do that uh, using my heating tool and piece of candle. So I'm going to wax this image with my piece of candle. You can use any paraffin candles or, you know, waxes. So first I'm going to use my candle wax and I'm gonna use my heating tool and I'm gonna melt that wax on it and I will also try to do so from that opposite side so now anything what I don't need on my paper I'm gonna wipe off from that paper see it is transparent. So now I can cut out my wings and it's also stronger because I use that paraffin. 
So it's like wax paper now. So I do have my semi-transparent wings. And I was thinking how I will put those wings on her back. So I will probably have to cut out this beautiful aura around her. So I did cut, you know, here between her hair. I will probably have to cut inside as well. Just gonna try. Oh yes. So I'm gonna cut that, uh, you know, those spots between her hair. And my magic fairy looks like this. And I really love that effect. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep her this way. She even does hold a book in her hand. That's exactly what I needed because I'm making journals, you know. So this is my fairy tale, my junk journal fairy tale. And uh, I'm gonna do some easy spread because this is a circle and she does have that aura around her. I'm thinking to use that circle somehow and she's looking like she's sitting so I will have to somehow make it possible <laughs> oh I love that okay she will be sitting on, <laughs> on that range <clears throat> and I need to a little bit break down that background so what I'm gonna do I prepared a few papers see I do have tracing paper I can even use the tracing paper and this one and few stamps which has beautiful colors they are kind of matching uh, hair colors and I do have here this one I'm not sure if I will use that maybe that dream I like that dream maybe I will use that dream I do love that dream. Yeah, I should use that dream. And I do like this. It's kind of matching this color a little bit. Okay. Maybe I can keep it there. Okay, so first I'm gonna glue down this long piece. Add the glue. And put my piece on that background. Now my two pieces. Okay, I do have my triangles. Will I use you? Okay, I may will use it. So first I'm gonna glue this on that dream strip. Maybe this way. All right. Now I can place it somewhere here. And I think <clears throat> I will try to use those post stamps also because I like how they beautifully match, uh, you know, her colors. But first I'm gonna glue the wings to my lady. So now my furniture and it's so much fun to create a collage you know you are creating one page only but you can use so many so many beautiful things on your collage which I actually forget right now I wanted to use stamps and uh, some of these beautiful uh, washi tapes That's much, much better. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna glue this beautiful wrench right here. Now the clocks. I'm thinking to place it. F no, no, I can't actually. I'm gonna place her how she will be sitting, and then I need to place. My clocks. Yes. So I'm gonna put the glue on my clocks. 
the hair sit down, probably this way. And slide the clocks behind the hair. And they will be right here. I can place her right here. But before I will do so, I'm gonna use some stamps. I got here stamps from Creative Expression, dismounted French script. And I've got here those beautiful stamps. I found them on AliExpress, those uh, circle postage stamps. I think I'm gonna add these two post stamps here or one here and one there. Yeah, I think this way. Okay, and some stamping, very easy stamping. I'm going to take black ink and do just some very soft. Yes, just like that. How about that French script? I don't want to mess up. <laughs> Okay, I do have my French stamp. I'm gonna use one piece of that French calligraphy right here. And I do have here this part. So now I'm gonna take my little lady and place her. Uh, I do watch Margaret Miller's uh, videos because she does have amazing videos, really beautiful. She does talk a lot about how to create collage and how to think when you are creating collages. And she does have so many things, uh, you know, for, from the start how to start your page and stuff like that. So if you like to have some beautiful, nice afternoon creating one page, so I hope you will go have a look on, on this weekly uh, weekly planner because it's amazing idea. I do love that idea. And she, uh, Margaret did a really gorgeous, amazing work with, with those designs. There is so many beautiful papers, you know, where from to start, but you will have like background and I just love that idea that we do have something, you know, some base and she gives here uh, some ideas what to use and then create. So I really love that idea. So this is my creation for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I, I definitely have a fun, you know, to put it all together to, to create something what I really like and I really like her. She's gorgeous and <laughs> she's turning all off from from cooking that's totally me so i hope you had a good time with me today thank you so much for visiting thank you so much for spending your time with me if you like my video please give it thumbs up and share it with your friends uh, i wish you a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye